Peace. Yes, I want to be concentrated, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome everybody to the room. Welcome. Hello, natures. What? <laughs> well, that person knows who I'm talking about. Hey, Ash. See, now it's talking about 20%. Well, it was at 21, so it's just it just used up 1%, so that's fine. Yeah, hopefully the phone won't die. Oh, where's my... I thought I just had a pen. I thought I pinned it. Oh, it's all the way up here. Okay. Hey, nurse. Welcome, everybody, to the room. How you living? Hey, Miss Hollywood. Yeah, it is beautiful weather. It's trying to rain, though. It's been raining for the past two days. And when it rains here, it rains. And so today was a beautiful day. So we decided to come out here before it rains. Hey, Vic the Genius. Vic the Genius, y'all, is my brother. What up? <laughs> you want to come on the live, Vic the Genius, and talk? I haven't talked to you in shit. How long? Two years? A year? <laughs> you want to come on the live and talk to me? That's funny. Yeah, I'm still in Hawaii. We're in the, on the big island. Let me see if my brother... Let's see. If he has that feature. That's so funny. I was going to talk about something else, but my brother wouldn't come on. That would be dope. What up? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Oh, y'all, this was not planned. I did not know my brother was going to be in my live. This is actually his first time in my live. And when was the last time we spoke to each other? Um, it was, you sounded muffled. Can you hear me? Huh? Now Can again. you hear me? Yeah. I, it was uh, on my mind, my phone. It, but uh-huh. I remember I was at her house. Oh yeah, yeah. That was a that was a wow. I don't even know when that was. Oh, yeah, everybody was talking about you, cute, you handsome. <laughs> Y'all leave him alone. He a Gemini. He crazy. <laughs> That's funny. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> I don't know. It's an, it's an, I got an Android, so I don't know. Oh, <laughs> uh, you want you one of those people, the Android people. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody said, don't uh, take the Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> How you been? I'm good, you know, just living life out here in D.C. Mm-hmm. Um, you still in D.C.? Mm-hmm. What's it like out there in Hawaii? It's beautiful. It is a whole nother world out here. The weather is amazing. Like as soon as you come into the environment, you can really feel the spirit of the land. Like it, you can just, it's, it has like an old ancient, I won't say old, but I will say it has an ancient um, energy about it. Like you can tell that this, this land has been here for a very long time and the people are really nice um now it is a little bit expensive to live out here but if you can find like certain places it's doable like if you like in the rural areas like up in the jungle somewhere like it is doable but if you're trying to be close to civilization like it's you know prices like it would be probably like in dc and stuff yeah, dc is outrageous mm-hmm. i live in the hood. yeah, yeah. <laughs> what'd you say i said i live in the hood now so you know oh you live in the hood <laughs> It's expensive though. I mean, it, 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 uh-huh. it might be the hood, but it's still it's like million dollar houses in the hood. That, that sh- yeah, yeah, you're right. You want to see your nephew? Yeah. Okay, let's see. It's just, I said when he was born, he looked like you. Say hey, uncle. Say hey, uncle. Don't be looking down. Don't be shy. Say hey, uncle. Say hey, uh, uh-uh. uh. 
He looked like, like, huh? like his daddy. He looked like yeah, his daddy. Like, yeah, but you look Spanish too. <laughs> you know, I thought you was Dominican. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, but I guess the reason why I think he looks like you because because he looked like me. So, but yeah, in, in some ways, so for the most part, he does look like Rambo. Yeah, so you know, they, they grow they grow into to the features. There you go. <laughs> yeah so so yeah, yeah so so what's been going on um i mean same stuff you know just i got my podcast going on uh intellectual cool podcast so that's been going yeah deep. Mm-hmm. We, we're recording at this uh, place in dc called uh the eaton it's like a mm-hmm. workspace, it's like a hotel, uh, co-working membership place, it's like three restaurants. Yeah. They have a movie theater, but they have like a, a radio station. They haven't launched it yet, but we're recording there, like before the launch. And, mm-hmm. um, yeah, so it's been good. You know. Yeah. Same okay. stuff. So I asked um, our mom this when me and her was on live. I don't know if she told you this, but me and her, we did a live and everybody just loved it. Someone actually pulled my video and put it on YouTube and like on their channel and stuff and just me and her talking. And so like, I want to like get your opinion. Like, what do you think of my journey? Like, er cause I haven't, I I really haven't talked to you. Even when we spoke, we didn't really speak. It was like weird and awkward. Uh, you know, because I was still under that programming. But, um, yeah, like, what do you honest, think of everything? I have probably been out of everybody. I have not watched one video. Okay. On purpose. Okay. So, like, because you know how, you know, the family and all that. But I was like, you know, I'm going to uh, wait until the right time to um, actually talk and not, like, look at a video you know what i mean mm-hmm. i'd rather talk to yeah you, like how we talking right now yeah, yeah on, so on live. <laughs> but, you know, well yeah but you know like in terms of the journey in itself mm-hmm. i've kept it pretty consistent and i just said like i mean you know like i travel too but not in that same situation yeah. but yeah. i feel like you got to do what you got to do like grown You'll figure it out when you need to figure it out. And mm-hmm. I said, as long as you're safe, then that's really like, I can't tell somebody how to live their life. Like, that's not mm-hmm. my job, you know? So, exactly. Yeah. And like, obviously, like, you're where you are now. And obviously, things seem to be pretty good in you know, Hawaii. So, um, yeah, people can, people can think what they want to think, but if you're not the person actually living it, you're muffled. You're muffled again. Oh, okay. Okay. I said people can people can think what they want to think, but if you're not actually living it, then it's, it's it doesn't mean anything. Like let's let people live mm-hmm. their life. And uh, yeah, because I mean the internet's weird. I, I try not to do too much like investigating yeah. on the internet. So exactly, exactly. That's amazing that. You said that, that, you know, people can say whatever they want to say, because that was the title of my video that I want to just talk to people like, you know, it's time to turn the other cheek. Because yesterday I had did a video where I let everybody know that I was no longer vegan. Um, and it opened a whole bunch of windows and doors and everything. And, you know, we got I had people coming out of the woodworks. Uh, but basically, I just shared my story as to why, because. Um, I, once I had the baby, I had got, I had, by, I don't, I'm going to say I got sick. I don't want to use those words, but pretty much I lost a lot of weight. I, I got down to like 80 pounds and we didn't know what was, what was going on with me and the diet that I was eating. I, I couldn't no longer eat it. It wasn't giving me enough nourishment. And then plus I didn't have the appetite for it. And then I'm breastfeeding and the baby was taken from me and I was not putting in enough of my body to sustain, you know, breastfeeding you know uh, zen and so eventually i just started craving fats my body was just like you need fats you need fats 
and I was eating nuts. I was eating avocados and it just was not enough. And I had just got to the point to just start listening to my intuition. It was like, what do you, what do you need? What, what, what does your body need? And I ended up going to the hospital when we were still in Mexico because I started throwing up and I was throwing up every other day. And our mom, she knew because because she was calling me and I was telling her and she was really worried. And I even had called Tanya because I was I was getting worried. I was like, why am I throwing up? Like, what's going on? And so then when we came to Hawaii, we just Rambo and I had just made a decision like, you know, maybe you need to incorporate some eggs or, you know, some salmon or something in your diet because the beans and the rice and the fruits. It just wasn't enough, and I was losing weight. And I didn't realize that I had got down to 80 pounds until I came to Hawaii and weighed myself. And so then I just decided to eat some wild-caught salmon and some eggs. In about a week, I gained like 10 pounds. And I didn't eat a lot of it. Um, yeah, I know. I didn't eat a lot of it, but I just I, I ate, you know, as much as I needed. And just in a matter of a week, my, my health turned totally different. And then probably about a month or two, I ended up gaining like 20 pounds, like another 20 pounds. And so I'm probably now at maybe at 120, maybe, I don't know. Um, but, but yeah, and so when I made this video, a lot of people came out the world. It was like, yeah, I went through the same experience. You know, I was vegan or I was raw vegan and I got sick and I wasn't getting enough nutrients and, you know, and just different things. And of course, I got the other crowd. It was just like, you know, it wasn't the diet and, you know, vegan veganism is the way to go and eating meat is wrong. You know, just all different types of perspectives that I got. But the moral and the point of me sharing my story is, is that you got to do what you got to do for you. Everybody's different. Everybody is, has their own frequency that they have to put out. Everybody got their own story to share. And it's time that we get out of these boxes that we are creating for ourselves when they're not working. And a lot of times people stay in these boxes because they're afraid of being judged or they're afraid of being accepted. But we got a lot of people here on the internet that call themselves gurus or specialists. And a lot of times they're not living what they're teaching. So I wanted to come out and be honest, but look, this is what happened with me. I'm not saying that the vegan diet or the vegetarian diet or whatever is a bad diet. I'm just saying that when Know the difference when it's working and when it's not working. But do what you have to do to get yourself at your ultimate best and be healthy again. Because since I've done it, I haven't had meat. I'm, well, not meat. I haven't had fish or eggs. I haven't had eggs in two months and fish in about a month. You know, because I don't need it. But if I choose that, I feel like I need it, then I'll eat it. But I'm not going to put myself in a box and say that I'm this and somebody asked me, you know, are you pescatarian? I was like, no, I'm human. Like, I'm just a human being. You know, you just figuring out what what works and what doesn't work. But I feel like if the vegan diet works for you, keep doing that. You know, I'm not an advocate to eat meat. I'm not an advocate to eat fruits. I'm not an advocate to eat vegetables. I'm an advocate. Do what is best for you. Listen to your own intuition. Huh? So just no pork. Oh well, no. I'm. I don't. The only thing I ate was fish. Like I haven't had chicken. I haven't had no steak. You know, I haven't had any of it. Like you know, just the fish that I had. You know, but other I than that, all I'm eating. Like everybody, like you said, everybody's body is different. Um, I used to eat the blood type diet um, a while yeah, back. Yeah, people were talking about that too. Yeah. So like. You know, like you said, at certain times, like you're pregnant, had a baby, like you got to do what you got to do for the, <laughs> for the time being. But mm -hmm. I think also, like a lot of, I'm not an expert on this, but I do. Know your muffle, your muffle. <laughs> oh, my bad. How about right now? You're you good. good. You good? Yeah. Yeah, I said I'm not an expert on on this, but I do know a little bit about like diet and health and whatnot. But yeah. Uh, what was I about to say? I forgot because I got muffled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was profound. <laughs> it was. It was a gym. It was like I was gonna put a, a tape on me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, people. You won't get it. You won't get that knowledge. Next time. Next time. <laughs> <laughs> they get to, they get next time. Yeah. What was she going? You really forgot what she was about to say about the diet. I did. 
Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let me make sure you can hear me. So um, I'm glad I remember. So basically, like, we we are, most of us are born into, like, a world or a nation where you're eating a certain type of way for, like, your whole life. So when you try to switch to something else, when you, when you yeah. hear people talk about, like, certain types of medical treatments and whatnot, that's fine. But it's not fine because you've been your body has been like conditioned a certain way your entire life. So to say that you don't need certain things, like certain yeah. types of food, like certain types of medicine, it may not actually be true because your body is literally been living for two different Your medical How about now? What are you what are you doing that is making you muffled? I don't know. I have no uh, idea. Are you putting your hand over the mic or something? I don't even know what the mic is. Oh, yeah, I do know. That, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that, like, and this is something I read. Like, your body is conditioned because you're, you, if you grew up in America and you've mm-hmm. been eating a certain type of way, you've been receiving certain types of medical conditions the whole life, to instantly transition to, like, a complete natural Your muscle. Band, <laughs> I'm not even. I'm not even on it now. I don't know what you do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna wrap it up. Man. I'm gonna wrap it up. Thank this you. This transition. <laughs> to transition instantly it may not be the most beneficial thing for everybody. It's just okay. like having somebody that has cancer to say that they should go completely out of line. You may not have time to do that because your body you haven't been living that way. So she said you're covering the mic. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Just, just That's all I got. Phone, prop the phone somewhere and don't touch it. All right. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> I can't even hear it. I wasn't like. Really <laughs> yeah. Let me hold it. I know. Phone. I know. But I ain't going to say yeah, I mean. Else. Well, I mean, well, yeah, that I I understand that, you know, and, you know, just like I said, there's like a lot of people out here teaching things that they're not actually doing themselves. And and it's important for that's why I said it's important for you to follow your own guidance system, because that's why people are starting to see a lot of vegans not being vegan no more. And, and I think they weren't vegan for a while because they use that as a ploy to become famous or make money. But then once something happened to where they needed to change their lifestyle, they couldn't be honest and just be like, you know, I got to eat, I got to eat fish. And a lot of them made their, their name by what they ate, you know, but at the end of the day, like we're human and we're, we're learning and then we're experiencing, we're trying to figure out what's right, right for us. And all I'm doing is to share my story. It, I'm not telling nobody, to do what it is that I do. I'm telling everybody, this is where I am and this is what I'm learning and experiencing. And by me putting this out here, I've found a group of people, a lot of people that are going through the same thing. Maybe not pregnancy, but like something happened in their life that changed their health to where they had to do something different. You know, because the vegan diet worked for me for years. And so now once I had the baby, things changed in my body. That doesn't mean that I can't go back and choose to eat that diet. I'm just saying now I'm not putting myself in a box to be a follower of something. You know, it's time that we be, you know, leaders of our own life. Be the example to whatever it is you believe. Whatever you believe, Vic, be the example of it. And that's the one thing I always loved about you is that you were, you were never critical. Huh? (laughs) What'd you say? This comment. That's this comment, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. oh I, I know. I don't even be looking. I keep, I be talk, I'm so used to it. I just be talking. Like, you were, you all, you never, like, was a very critical or opinionated of what other people were doing. Now, unless somebody asks you, but you are always open minded about everything. And I think that's the reason why your life always worked for you because you always stay open minded. I feel like through my life, I was always looking at things, 
you know, this way and and not able to see both sides and then bring it to a collective decision for myself. I was always like, no, it's this way. You know, so I've learned just through my experience that you have to be able to look at everything, you know, for what it is and then come to your own conclusion, but still be flexible and still be open because in life you're always learning and growing. You know, you know, so that I mean, that's just what I've learned so far. And I just, you know, keep experiencing that. <laughs> Somebody said you got pretty teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so. so yeah. This, is, this is good. This is, do you so ever do this? Do you ever go on live? Uh, on my other page, uh, we do, sometimes we, like, uh, post my phone up while we're doing the podcast. Well, yeah. Because they record video, but none of it's posted yet. But, um. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really do live on, on this, on this page, though. I, I mean, I'm weird. They want you, to, they want you huh? to stand up. They want you to stand up. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I got the camera, I got the camera I in my know. hand. I'm not to... <laughs> like... <laughs> That's why I said, prop the phone up and then walk over there. Like, let them see you from behind and then turn around and then walk forward. What is this? This is kind of like... <laughs> and then somebody said, then take it off. Y'all stop it. <laughs> oh, man. What? They are awful. They are all you know, every time you go somewhere, somebody always checking you out. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> what, what I gotta I do your chart. I gotta do I never did your chart. I well I know you're a Gemini, you're a certain Gemini, but I like to know like the rest of your chart and see, you know. How old are you, Vic? What's your um your age? Thirty five. Thirty five? Oh, okay. Yeah, we're two years apart. Yeah. Yeah, two years. Two year difference. I always forget. Mm-hmm. I said Vic's following gonna skyrocket. Is it? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I know, I know. So yeah. But it was good talking to you. Uh does anybody have any questions for my brother? <laughs> oh, they said do you like women? <laughs> uh, <definitely. laughs> <laughs> Y'all crazy. That's somebody me. said they already following you. Oh, somebody I, said I I'm a Capricorn. It wouldn't work. And that's true. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we all Capricorn. we know that. Yeah, we know about the Capricorns <laughs> and Geminis. Wow. Yeah. It's are, tough. You, are you single? Huh? Are you single? If they want to know. I'm not answering that on here. So <laughs> I'm not married. <laughs> You're not. There you go. <laughs> I mean, if you were, this is, that's a lot. That's a lot to be asking somebody on. Uh, Why is that a lot? Is that either you in a relationship or you not in a relationship? Like it's. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta really keep them guessing. You gotta leave them guessing. Okay. Yeah. You can't give all yeah, you all the juice out, you know what I'm saying? Like, you gotta, well, by you, gotta leave it. But by you that's, answering that question, that's the answer right there. <laughs> <laughs> and if somebody said he has a woman, trust me. <laughs> hey. uh, they said, well, you're not married equals single lady. Shoot your shoot. Shoot your shot, I mean. No comment. No comment. <laughs> They said, what's your comment. podcast? What's your podcast name? And so, what's intellectual your podcast pool. name? Intellectual, intellectual pool. pool. Oh, it's like intellect. Cool. Yeah, like uh-huh. we're intellect. Then the letter U and cool. Intellectual. Cool. You can type it in there in the comments so they can um, follow. Right. I'll do I'm that sure you're gonna now. get a whole bunch of more people listening. <laughs> yeah. The last, the last show, we had a, a couple guests. It was why I'm not married. Oh, why you're not married? Yeah. Somebody Hopefully said Gemini's be deep, but cuckoo. 
I mean, hey. What can I say? I mean, <laughs> that might be one of that time. Yeah. These, these Capricorns over here. Capricorns are wild. That's like... That's, I yeah. Can <laughs> yeah, Capricorns are very interesting. Yeah, I never. I don't think I dated a Capricorn, but yeah, but I know your situation with a Capricorn. Yeah. <laughs> That's tough. That is very, very, very interesting. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah so, but it was good talking to you. How often, yeah. how often are you on here? Do you do this every day? I, well, I would like to. <laughs> I would like to do it every day, but probably every. Few couple of days and uh, Rambo he also goes live too on his channel um but yeah I, I'm trying to do it like I would like to do it every day whether if it's on here or if it's on YouTube um but I like to have stuff to talk about I just don't want to just come on here and just not have you know anything to offer or give but yeah um so yeah do you have any any sound wisdom to give the people Oh, he's, I guess he is, I don't know what's going on, he's turning. Oh, he froze? I don't know. It's at that little, hold on, let me. Uh, no, because it was freezing. The sound of wisdom. I I had to, can you hear me? Because I had to take the earplugs off. Yeah, we can hear you. Because it's kind of windy. I just said meditate or pray, whatever you do. But, uh, you know, you need that good energy. And wake up early. I wake up early in the morning every day and go to the gym. It changed my life, waking up early in the morning to work out. I used to so, wake up early. I didn't. But literally, my whole day is different because I start off my day not doing capitalism and not uh you know, doing something I don't want to necessarily do all the time. Uh, mm-hmm. It's not about, it's about my health. You know what I mean? So the first thing I do is something about this regarding my health. Mm-hmm. But yeah. yeah. That's good. That's yeah, all I got. I'm going to do my best. <laughs> he says all I got. Do you still um, eat your, your egg whites and oatmeal and yogurt in the morning? No yogurt. Not a lot of eggs. Not really. No, I drink a protein shake after I work out, which is like a plant-based protein. But, mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I eat oatmeal. Yeah, I, I was never. Do that all- I'll never stop eating oatmeal. Oatmeal. I said I'll never I, stop I eating oatmeal. Love with oatmeal too. Like just recently, like I love me some oatmeal. <laughs> with some blueberries, or some bananas, and some agave. Yeah, strawberries. Yeah. I put walnuts in it. Our pecans. It'd be good. I'd be like, I'd be looking forward to the morning when I come. When I come back, I'd be like, I want some oatmeal. Mm-hmm. I used to not like it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, so yeah, it was good talking to you. We gotta do this All more right. often. I know you wasn't expecting me to come on the live, but I wasn't expecting you to come into the room. So of course, I had to let you come in here. Yeah, I mean, I made it. Yeah, we definitely got to do it again. So, love you. Yeah. This probably will be on, I love you too. This probably will be on YouTube. You're probably going to be on YouTube. <laughs> so I'm probably going to pull this video. <laughs> so good. I'm on there. Like, so, Randy's fine ass brother. And, ladies, he's <laughs> single. <laughs> That's funny. That's the title. <laughs> well, I guess I got to go on YouTube now. <laughs> But all right. Yeah. All I right. said, all right. Peace. I, I talk to you later. <laughs> oh, oh, that. Ooh, let me cover the baby up. <laughs> you know, it's going to be like that. That was so sweet, y'all. Y'all got to see me talk to my brother. I have not talked to him in, like we said, a minute. And so me and my brother used to talk all the time. And like we used to visit each other, like he was like like one of my best friends, and so um, I knew what I was doing with my life. He wasn't gonna be that opinionated about it because it's my life. It's what I want to do, because if he understands it or not, you know. And that was what 
I wanted to talk to y'all about today. But hey, y'all got to see me talk to my brother. So I think whatever I had to say today, I think this was much more of a gem. You know, y'all can see me connect back with my family, you know, the ones that are there for me no matter what. Because you're going to experience things in life and some people are going to understand and some people aren't and some people want to agree and some people aren't. But at the end of the day, you got to keep doing what you got to do for you and the ones that truly are there for you, they will be there for you no matter what, no matter what you choose to do with your life. And you want to keep those people in your life very close because you have a lot of toxic people in your life that don't mean you well and it's best that we don't hold on to them just because they're family or just because you were a part of something with them you have to know the difference between who is healthy for you and who is not healthy for you and choose to be happy and only be around people that want to be happy with you and that's just you know what i'm learning you know every day and choosing what is the best for me and you know, yesterday was an eye-opener for me when I shared my story. And I just shared my story, and, like, so many other people resonated with it. So many people were uh, in the same boat as me. And a lot of people disagree, and it's okay. And that's why I said it's time for me to turn the other cheek because it's not about not caring about what people think of you because we do care. Let's be real. Let's keep it real. We do care what people think of us. The point is don't let it stop you. Don't let it stop you what people say about you. Everybody is just trying to figure out the truth in their own way at the end of the day. No no, no one person has all the answers yet. Because if one person had all the answers, what's the point of living? If one person or, or one entity knew what this was about, what's the point of them being here? It's like we're all discovering and experiencing what is right for us. And with me, I just want to share my story. I remember two years ago when I came on the camera, it was just like, I quit my job. Like, oh my God. Like, I quit my job and I'm going to Costa Rica and I'm about to save the world. And, you know, and I was like, oh my goodness. But I didn't know what was in store, you know, for me making that choice. But what I discovered is that I found myself, like, in so many different ways. Yeah, I kind of went extreme with finding myself. And not everybody has to go that route with doing what I did. You can you can do it in your way. But for me, I did it the way that I did it. And I'm continually discovering things about myself, what works and, and what doesn't work and wanting to be of service. That That is the whole point. What are you here to be of service for? It could be through music. It could be through art. It could be through having children. It could be through cooking. It could be through teaching. It could be through whatever it is be of service. It could be through teaching astrology or teaching, I don't know, doing something, but make sure you discover what that is and do it and do it with service, you know, and you will get rewarded for whatever it may be. And so that's what I'm going to continue to do. I'm going to continue to discover who I am. I'm going to continue to share it. You don't have to agree. I'm not telling anybody to jump on my bandwagon or jump on my movement. I ain't trying to create no cult. I'm just being me. That's the cult. My the cult. You know why I'm creating the cult? The cult of being who you are. That's the cult that I want to promote. The cult of being you and whoever that is. And I invite you to start telling your story. If you got if you got tough enough skin, just get on here and start telling your story because you never know who you're going to motivate. You never know who's out there that resonates with you. That's at the bottom line. We just want to be around people that resonate with what we're doing. So start telling your story or whatever that is. And people are here to listen. And it doesn't matter if it's right or wrong. It is your story. That's their opinion. And that's, that's at the end of the day. That's, that's all anybody can give you. It's their opinion of what they think, okay? But you got a lot of people out here that is teaching things and saying things that they're not living. And so you got to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to be doing for yourself and don't be following what someone is telling you because you never know what people are doing with their lives. And that's another thing. I'm just going to be straight up and honest with what I'm doing. It's like, this is me. I don't have no reason to lie I want to be honest. Like, this is me. This is who I am. I want to be authentic. I want to express who I really am. I want to be a vessel for God to express himself fully and beautifully and excellently. And the thing is, to be excellent, you got to be authentic and precise and consistent with who you are and unapologetic.
at the end of, at the end of the day, that's what you have to be. Decide to express yourself fully and watch what happens. Okay, but I'm about to get off of here because yeah, so Rambo would love to go live or do something. <laughs> you want to say hey? <laughs> the perfect live. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I love. I wasn't even looking at the comments. Let me look at the comments before I go. There's a lot of. Yeah. Are you a Sagittarius? Everything nineties. Oh yeah, spiritually speaking, I was watching um, some of that uh, about the Nipsey Hustle. That's very interesting about the numbers. I gotta talk to you about numerology too, because I forgot that you knew about numerology y'all should hear though spiritually speaking she's also an excellent astrologer and numerologist she knows what she's talking about so hit up spiritually speaking as well for astrology information mm-hmm. oh yeah i'm a peaceful one uh if even if you are afraid to get on camera and speak or maybe you don't have the gift of gab writing it's also good too. Like I've started writing too, and what I'm going to be doing is sharing my articles on Patreon. I'm actually writing an article. I just finished it for Patreon um, about I made myself a sacrifice to the Ina Ocean, and so I'm going to be sharing that on the Patreon. My first article that I wrote. So if you don't like to speak, you know, start writing. If you don't like to write, start drawing. You know, pictures and art. You know, if you don't like to do that, cook. Create it with food. Do whatever Do whatever it is that speaks to your soul and expresses you fully and beautifully. That's, that is the key. Oh, well, oh, yeah. Uh, I remember wanted to show you what we're working on on the Patreon. Can y'all see it? <laughs> but I'm going to post pictures of, of what I'm created and, you know, let y'all see. But, yeah, I created a really good recipe dish. Um, I'm going to put it on the Patreon. You know, I'm going to give them the video of how I created it and also the recipe, too. But I'll share the pictures with you guys. <laughs> but if you want to know how I created it, you got to join the Patreon. Okay, so I'm about to go, y'all, because I got some work I have to do. Continue to stay balanced, continue to stay in love, continue to show compassion where there is none, and stay happy.